Hey, what's up you guys? I'm back with another video, but this time we are doing a tutorial on how to install fonts to your iPad. So this is something I've used quite a lot. I'm pretty familiar with it. I sell lots of fonts on Etsy. And so if you're looking how to get those into your digital planner, into Procreate, into Keynote, then stay tuned. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is download the font. I've gone ahead and already gone to the website defont.com. This is just one place where you can get free fonts if you'd like. I personally use a lot of fonts that I've purchased from Etsy, Creative Market, Teachers Pay Teachers, and of course, my own that I design. But for the purpose of today's video, I'm just going to use defont.com since it's free and you can easily follow along. So open up Safari, go to defont.com, and then you can just kind of sort through categories, find the type of font that you want. There is a specific Halloween category, so maybe I'll click on that one. Oh, I really like that. I had a font in mind. This creepy pumpkin one was one that I wanted, but I really like this Halloween font. Ooh. You could do cute designs all over your planner using these symbols. Oh my gosh. And then there's lettering options. Wow. So defont.com has plenty of spooky Halloween fonts. I am gonna go with that first one though. So what you wanna do from here is just hit download and you can donate to the author, which is great. Let's tap download again. And up here at the downloads button that will have popped up and you'll have that download there. So when you've downloaded from Etsy, for example, you might've received a Dropbox link. So I'm gonna show you how to do that as well. So we're just gonna open up that link in Safari. So this is a link to my Skilled Sailor font. And you can double tap download from here. And then it'll ask, do you want to download skilledsailor.otf? And you're gonna hit download. And come back up here. And now we have both of these fonts. So the important thing you wanna do is make sure that you have iFont downloaded. This is a free app. And this app allows you to be able to download and install any font as a profile on your iPad so that you can use it in various different programs. So once you're sure that that's downloaded, you can come back to Safari. Now that we know that we have our downloads and we have the right app that we need, let's go in and check out how to download these. So right now the Skilled Sailor app is just a TTF. So if I tap on that, I can hit this share or export button here and just tap on iFont from there. Alternatively, if you're working with a zip folder like we are here, you're gonna tap on that. That'll take us to our downloads and we can click on the zip file here and it's just gonna open that up and then you can open the file. So here we have a TTF file and that's the file that we're gonna wanna use. Tap on the TTF file. If it does something weird like takes you into Procreate, for example, we're gonna come back to this one. You're gonna long press on it and then come down to share and from here, you can scroll until you find the iFont program that we downloaded. So I'm going to tap on that. It's going to load the font up. So apparently I have one font in here that I didn't install yet. Up at the top one here is the one that I downloaded from Defont. So had we gone the next step, for example, when I was in Safari here and I had tapped on Skilled Sailor and it took me to this screen, if I had tapped this export share button and then tapped iFont, it would also have shown here but I have already installed that one on my iPad, so I just wanted to show you that the process is the same. So I am going to come down here to this CFHR, which must be the Halloween font. has a very interesting name. Uh, it looks like it stands for CF Halloween Regular. On here, you're going to tap this blue install, and you're going to see a pop-up that says, This website is trying to download a configuration profile. Do you want to allow this? You want to hit Allow. Now it says profile downloaded. Review the profile and settings app if you want to install it. So you can tap close here and then a little bit of instructions will pop up. You can follow these or you can just follow my instructions. I'm going to tap cancel here. And then the next thing that you're going to do is go to your settings. Uh, when you tap profile downloaded here, you'll have a little pop up that comes up and it says CF Halloween regular and you can hit install. Then you have to put in your passcode and now it's going to double check to make sure that you really do want to install this. So you're gonna hit install again and one last install and now we can hit done. 
and these are all of the profiles that I have installed on mine. Most of them are my fonts. So from here, you can go and make sure it's installed into any of the programs that you want to use. It should be there. If you're having any issues, then you'll just want to close out the program and then check again. Worst case scenario, I would restart your iPad, but it should be a pretty simple fix as you've done the hard part already. So I'm going to open up GoodNotes and I just want to check and see if this is here. So I'm in my text tool already and I'm just going to scroll for that CF. CF, look, and it's already in GoodNotes, so that works for me. I'm going to increase the size just so you can see and I'm just going to write hi. Okay, and what I'm learning here is that there are no lowercase letters in this font, so it's all capital. So I'm just making sure I have cap locks on and I'm just going to write hi. So you can see that it has in fact installed onto GoodNotes, so I'm just going to get rid of my keyboard here and I'm going to try another app. So let's try and see if it's in Procreate. So I'm going to tap on the wrench icon, make sure we're on add, go to add text, and then I'm going to tap here with my finger can touch the fonts up here and it'll bring up the whole font menu and let's just see if we see it so we see CF here perfect and again as I learned before it has to be in all caps so I'm just gonna turn on the all caps feature there and excellent we have it here in procreate the last thing I want to do is just check to see if it's in keynote so I'm gonna swipe up here and I have used keynote recently so I'm gonna tap keynote and I've already opened up a new presentation, so I'm just gonna tap here where this says presentation title. I'm gonna double tap, and I'm gonna double tap the shift so that I know that my caps lock is on, and then I'm going to type in Halloween, and then I'm going to select all of this. I'm gonna go to my format paintbrush, and then from here I'm gonna tap on the font, and I'm gonna scroll and look and see if it's here. Excellent, so this worked out very smoothly where everything was here the first time. I have had it happen where it wasn't there the first time. If you're running into that issue, like I said, first quit the program, just like that, and then try again. If that doesn't work, try to restart your iPad. You can Google how to do like a soft reset. If you're really having some buggy issues, you can try that. And if you're still having troubles, then I would definitely go back through the download process one more time just to make sure that you didn't miss a step. So go into iFont and make sure, and I can show you now. So if you go into iFont and it still shows it as blue, first thing you want to try is to, of course, quit the program and then reopen it. And see, when I did that, perfect, it shows that it is installed. If it's still showing blue after that, then you missed a step, so I would just hit install and do it over again. Otherwise, that's all there is to it. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below and I will do my best to help you out. If you did enjoy this video, please consider giving it a like and subscribing. It really supports my channel, but I just appreciate you being here. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.